My name is Catherine Wiley. I come from Ireland, and together with my husband Stuart, we founded the Catholic Grandparents Association. Grandparents don't realize how enormous their sphere of influence is. They have no idea, emotionally, physically, financially, and most important of all, spiritually. So the great work of the association is to create awareness for the vocation of grandparents. Because once you tell grandparents that they have a vocation, it's like switching on a light. Catherine Wiley became aware of her vocation as a grandparent at the Shrine of Our Lady of Walsingham in England. I was there on Our Lady's birthday, the 8th of September, and I was wondering what I could give Our Lady for a birthday present. And the idea that a grandparent's pilgrimage to honour St. Joachim and St. Anne, the grandparents of Jesus, would delight her, not please her, delight her. And then very quickly came the thought that we could honour and thank all our grandparents for everything they had done for us. Pilgrimages to Marian shrines are a driving force in the association. There's between 12 and 14,000 grandparents and their children who turn up to knock every year for the grandparents' pilgrimage. Growing out of the pilgrimages came the Catholic Grandparents Association, complete with its own prayer composed by Pope Benedict. I know it's the work of the Holy Spirit because nothing could have grown as quickly or as effectively as the Catholic Grandparents Association. We have been told by the church that it's the fastest growing Catholic association in the world. Four of our parents, of our grandparents, went into the boys' school. Four of our grandparents went into the girls' school. And I was actually in the class where my grandchild is, little Kate. And we explained to them about the joyful mysteries. Some of my own grandchildren are not baptised. You know, we have divorce in our family. And this is, this is common in this day and age. And some people find it very, very hard to deal with these difficulties. And the, the Grandparents Association supports people in that role. You discover that you're not unique. Well, my own son doesn't practice his faith. Um, so when he asked about having his child, Bradley, uh, baptised, I decided to take on the responsibility to see that the faith was passed on to him. And if our generation don't pass on the faith, we will not, I think it may have difficulty in surviving. You can't pass it on if you haven't got it. It's not possible. And the older you get, and the wiser you get, the more fervent your faith becomes. We're all in God's waiting room in one way or another. Look after yourself, pray for yourself, believe in yourself. Don't be afraid, have the courage. Wherever you go, do whatever you can, whenever you can. It's the most priceless gift you can give to your children and your grandchildren.